Hey guys, welcome back to another true video. Um, today we're gonna be going over the Shadow Tower changes that are <clears throat> currently in the PTS. Um, so the quick overview um, TLDR is basically Shadow Towers are being neutered to the point where you're not really gonna wanna do them so much. Um, there's gonna be a few items that you're still gonna be able to get from Shadow Towers only. Um, mostly like the badges, the spell divinity, um, and I think that's pretty much it. Your, um, any new, any mounts that drop from the bosses are going to be able to, are going to be able to farm still. But the Lunar Souls, Titan Souls, those are gone. A lot of stuff is gone from the Shadow Towers. The new Delves are basically taking over as the new end game content. Good and bad thing. I wish they kind of kept the Shadow Towers around. It would give us like another like weekly activity to do, but you know, Shadow Towers are old. I guess um something ha is going to be taking their place. So let's go over the changes exactly. Um, what so let's uh, on the patch notes and we'll see what they say. So Shadow Towers have had Titan and Lunar Souls drops removed. These can now be obtained through Delve. So all those Titan Souls and Lunar Souls, mostly the Lunar Souls, are the main thing. You're not gonna be able to do Dark the Moon anymore. I um, mean, get those. You're gonna be have, you're gonna go and do Delves. I'm not a hundred percent where or how you're gonna be getting the souls now, but they will be in Delves somewhere. Um, Shadow Tower Purple name has also been retired, um, but will likely appear in Delves as a later reward. So um, the. Uh, Purple name for speedrunning, um, basically top 100 people to get a the best time in Dark of the Moon every week were getting purple names. Um, never never really gave you anything. It just gave you purple name to hit to say, hey, look at me. I was in a group that was really good. Um, I hope that they keep the purple name for the Delves. I really um, it sounds like they're gonna be implementing it. I think it'd be really cool to see like maybe the top hundred or whatever people to see like how far they got into a um how deep they went into delves each week like oh this team got to uber 14 or level 14 or level 15 16 whatever the, whatever the case may be i think that would be cool to see for the new purple or whatever name they decide to do um binding darkness and starfire dragon egg fragments no longer dropping shadow towers and now occasionally come from chest found when completing delve floors Star starfighter dragon fragments can now be found on world bosses outside of shadow towers so hopefully that makes starfighter dragon egg fragments easier to get i still don't have enough to make a dragon and i've been playing this game for a long time and i've never gotten enough dragon egg fragments not even close to enough of getting those um, I only have mine from getting uh, the dragon effigies. <laughs> um, let's see. Shadow, Moon, and Eclipse Key fragments are lo no longer obtainable. Shadow, Moon, and Key and Eclipse Key fragments can be crafted into Delve fragments for a limited time and then will be removed from the game completely. Um, they have a tentative date to remove those um, January 1st, 2021. So I assume this update is going to be coming probably later in the spring. I would say April to May is my guess. For release PC, hopefully not too far behind a console. Maybe they'll release them same time. I'm not sure. Um, Shadow and Moon Gems will also be removed from the game with keys and fragments. So these are old. Not, so we're not talking about... Um, Shadow gems or gems in general. They're talking about an old, really old currency before the Mantle of Power update. So console players never had these and really old PC players might still have a few of these. So these have been on the game for quite a while. So don't worry about that too much. Um, Delve key fragments now drop instead of Shadow Moon and Eclipse key fragments. So it basically sounds like um, they're just taking, they're just going to be one type of key now there's not gonna be difficulties of keys they're not gonna be like oh well you know normal delves there's not gonna be normal or hard or ultra delves they're just gonna be delves in general which is kind of cool you know it kind of saves people from having to worry oh which key do i need so um 
fixtures also no longer affect key fragment drops, which kind of sucks, but it's not a huge deal. It probably sucks more for like the beginner players that might not have a lot of key fragments in general. Uh, myself, I have a lot. I know a lot of other end gamers probably have a ton of key fragments they don't know what to do with. I know myself, I have like 700,000 Eclipse key fragments alone. Um, I was talking to another player yesterday. I think they said they had like 6 million fragments. So dropping this from the fixtures and certain some clubs, not going to be a huge deal for some of us, might be a bigger deal for others. Um, the Monday Adventure offered during events is now to find a Delve Key Fragment. Um, so this was um, during um, events like the St. Cubics event going on right now on Monday. Um, since the Shadow Tower Day, you if you did... You found one key fragment anywhere in the world you got like threes or six lunar souls for doing it so now it's just basically saying that's gonna be changed to just get a delve key fragment so probably the same type of reward it might still offer the lunar souls since those are still going to be a thing in the game um the st adventure has been replaced with a dull adventure i went over that in the previous uh, in a previous video I did for the delves um, so delve day is gonna be Monday um, if you guys didn't see that video uh, non patrons double crystal drops double shadow drop shadow shard drops and double inert geo drops patrons get triple uh, the uh, chest at the end of shadow towers no longer require key to open delve chests do not um, require Delve chests do require a key to open. Sorry, I read that a little backwards. So chests at the end of Shadow Towers are going the old way, where you can actually just open them without using a key. That's how it used to be. Uh, maybe some of you guys don't even know that, but we never used to need a key to open up these, uh, um, to get the rewards from the chest. Um, you only had to use a key if you actually wanted like the drops. But you always got like your Lunar Souls and Titan Souls at the end um, just by completing the boss. You never needed to actually open the chest. So it looks like you can open the chest in Shadow Towers without a key, but doing delves, you're still going to need a key, which is why probably everything is going to delve keys. Um, the Shadow Escalation Golden Thread is no longer available, so this was just a, uh, a uh, oh my god, adventure or a quest um, in here. It was an expertise quest. That's the word I was looking for. It was one of these expertise quests. Um, that's not no longer going to be available. Um, the giant shadow panda that previously came from this thread cannot be crafted at Chevy Marcus, so there was a ally or maybe a mount that came from this. Um, you'll be able to craft that at the shadowy market now. And the eclipse key tome is now going to be the um, delve key tome and will give delve keys instead of eclipse keys. So that is the gist or the patch notes for the shadow tower changes. Uh, my opinion on the whole thing is it kind of sucks that they're getting rid of the Shadow Towers pretty much entirely. There's still going to be a few things, like I said. There's still going to be Dispel Divinity if you need that dragon still. And there's also going to be the new mounts. Um, there are gonna, um, some of the new or some of the old Shadow Tower bosses are getting new mounts. Uh, Dawn of the Moon is getting three. Pinata God, Spike Walker, and Weaving Prophet all are getting another one or a new one. So... There's still going to be some some reason to go into the Shadow Towers every week, but there's not going to be, not a lot of people are going to be doing Shadow Towers. It's going to be going to Dells. Dells is like the new thing. It's the same thing with the whole, I think, uh, the PvP. There used to be like the whole Team Deathmatch thing, and then they just kind of like phased that out and got rid of it entirely, and now it's just like Bomber Royale. Kind of similar to that situation, um, but yeah, so... Sucks that we're getting rid of it. I wish they would keep it in and maybe you get like even more rewards. You just like kind of like double up or re they reduce the amount you get from Shadow Towers, but it's still worth doing at least. But it sounds like basically they're just trying to um, phase out Shadow Towers altogether and just have Delves as the new go-to endgame activity. So let me know what you guys think of these changes. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.